Greetings from Wood Turning with Dick. Greetings from Wood Turning with Dick. Today's project, I've been asked to make a vase. Vase is the American way of saying it. Vase is the English way. So, I'm going to make a vase. I've been asked to make a square vase that's about 30 centimetres tall and about four inches square. And I did mention to the customer, do you want some gilding on it? And he said, oh, that would be nice, maybe. So I'm going to stop at a certain point, take some images and show him and ask him if he wants. This is a lovely piece of American mahogany that I've pre-cut, as you can see. And you can see one, two, three, four, exactly the same size. I'm going to stay square. I'm going to, obviously going to finish all this nicely, sand it to 600,000 grit. So you can really appreciate that, that uh, effect in the wood. Hole through there, hole through all of them, apart from the bottom one, which will be the one that will take the weight. So a small recess into that so that the top marrows up perfectly. Now I don't want to get these out of order. So this one, this small one you can see down the bottom here, I'm going to turn that round, 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 round potentially gilding those circles. So you get that lovely graduation of size. That one is twice the size of that. That one's three times the size of that. I like things to work in doubles and triples. That's quite nice. So three circles, four square sections. I guess I'd better get hollowing. Bit of sand of cedar on there. Now, granted, these are going to be gilded, but for the gilding to be applied well, they need to be sealed and waxed. But if they're not going to be gilded up to customer, then that's going to look quite pretty. Give that a chance to dry, then I'll cut it off.
So that's all the turning done. I've now got three rings. I can almost get into making bracelets, look. Will my hand fit in there without breaking it? Yay! <laughs> look, I've got a bracelet now. Or a whole set of bangles of different sizes. No, I'm kidding. Um, eh, take that off without breaking it. Ooh, oh, got my hand stuck now. Damn it. Aha, jackpot. Right, so I've got all the turning done. There's my base. Not brilliantly tidy at the moment. I'm uh, going to clean that up later. Um, I've got all the sides to clean up. I'm going to do that on the sander, even it all out, so that, that circle is dead centre. Take a few mil off this side, a couple of mil off that side. Clean these sides up. You can see this mark here. That's to indicate where I'm putting things in order. Another little mark on there. I've opted for the fatter circle at the bottom. My 80 mil hole has worked out just perfect. Gluing them together is going to be fun. It's going to be even more fun for my gilder trying to gild these rings whilst it's been glued. Because if I get them gilded first as sort of bangles and then try gluing them, a little bit of the glue is going to spill over onto the gilding. I know it will because I'm sloppy with my glue and that will ruin the gilding. We don't want that to happen, do we? So, that's all those in line. There's my vase. Will she go in? She will. Vase, sorry, not vase. There we go. So, that's what it's going to look like. Reposition my camera a little bit for you. Lots of tidying, lots of cleaning up to do. I'll come back to you uh, when I've finished sanding. I've sanded the sides to, to 150 through various grades on the belt sander. And then I've taken a block and sanded the sides to 400. Squared it all up nicely. It all fits very nicely. Next thing, my favourite bit, the sander sealer. Watch it come to life. Then I've got to denib the sander sealer, put some wax on and glue it all together. Hopefully successfully and all in line. Glued. Santa sealer denibbed. Glued together. Excess glue wiped off with a damp rag. And a little bit of weight on it. For half an hour while that glue sets. Hey. <laughs> 